Jeff, there's a new Sly Cooper game. Just get out of town. Why would they make a new Sly Cooper game? I don't know. Sony has made a habit of making games and not promoting them recently. So. Great. <laughs> I actually had multiple messages from people saying, wait a minute, there's a new Sly Cooper game coming out? Like, yes. It, it has cross-save with the Vita version of, this, of the game and everything. Like, it's... It, this, this falls kind of in the Ratchet uh, category of this game showed up and it was like, wait a... Oh, right. This is coming out. Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit different than that Ratchet game. That Ratchet game was uh, going for something a little bit different. It was pretty Ratchet. This is... Uh, a pretty traditional uh, sequel to Sly Cooper, but it's also been a long time since there's been. Yeah, uh, a Sly uh, I mean, this game. is a different team. This is the team that did like the HD collection or something. I believe right? so. Yeah, yeah. Sanzaru Games, uh, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so this is a. It's not even called. I mean, they're calling it Sly Four, sort of, but it's it's just Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Um, it's keeping in with the. So I played the first game. Yeah. Um, I want to say I played the second one, but I don't think I played the third one. And this keeps the motif of. From the third one, where you're playing as all three of the characters. Mm. Uh, I believe in the first two, at least definitely in the first one, you were just playing a Sly, uh, and then they... They kind of mix it up a little bit with some... You Those guys were just like your supporting team, but they yeah. just appeared in cutscenes. Like, you were always playing a Sly, uh, jumping around. Uh, but in this one, uh, you're primarily playing a Sly, but there are submissions that come up. Uh, I want to say in the earlier games that there might have been, it might have just been like the shooting sequences or something where you would kind of technically be controlling the turtle for a bit. But I, it's, might it, be, it's but all a blur. Like like the, all all those games kind of run together. Like I, I remember really liking uh, the first Sly Cooper, and then you know from there it was like these games are still technically very well made. There were just too, uh, there were just too many of them at a certain point. Uh, uh, I really enjoyed the like. The platforming was really well done. The, yeah. the cell shading totally looked amazing. Look. This, this actually, I, I, this looks great. Yeah, the, I've, I'm about an hour into the game. Uh, wasn't really sure if I wanted another one of these. Wasn't sure what to expect from it. But they yeah. have gone a little bit more. Open world would be too generous, uh -huh. but definitely really huge environments where you're coming into them several times uh, to complete different objectives. Okay. Like, yeah. I came in here the first time with Sly and uh, took a bunch of different photos. Um, All right. Uh, you'll come back into these environments and you'll see like on the map the, the red guys, you know, red dots are my yeah. bad guys. Uh, the yellow is my hideout. Uh, I also have forgotten, it takes a little getting used to with the platform in this game because you don't just jump on stuff. Right. You you hit a button and, and stick to those you hit glowing circle, points. And, then, right? and that allows you to kind of to do some moves that are a little unorthodox. Uh, it would require too much precision exactly. to be able to do it with normal controls. Um, okay. So he, is he sounding an alarm there? Is that no, basically he'll just, he'll alerting kinda, people? Or? He'll just kind of hang out there. Okay. So it's it's there's not the stealth mechanic is not that. No. The, the, there are very specific sort of stealth missions. Okay. Uh, and the bam signifies that that they're dead. And you collect coins to to buy new upgrades for your guys in this thing called Thiefnet that we'll no. sneak back over to a little bit later. So uh, before we head to the actual objective, which is that blue arrow in the corner, uh, there are a bunch of things you can do in the world that uh -huh. aren't just the main objective. You come across these things. Grab this. Uh, now I have to try and get this back to the hideout in the next 30 seconds. Uh, and this stuff uh, becomes pretty fun, especially once you've gotten pretty used to how the world works. Yeah. Uh, because it does require you to get back to a section. Uh, so far, it's all been 30 seconds. I don't know if there are times when it'll be more than that. And, uh, and you can't take damage. I don't, I, oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. You yeah. took damage. Um, you take those back, and you get money. And the money allows you to buy more upgrades. And more stuff. upgrades. Like, yeah. for example, the first major upgrade you get for Sly is... Uh, the ability to float. So, oh, uh, that parachute thing. Cool. Yeah. Let's go for it. Right, so let's let's head to the objective. And the other uh, major change in this game, uh, the cool. uh, introduction of costumes. Uh, so I got this not too long ago, and these costumes, for example, allow me to get into areas that I wouldn't be able to otherwise. That guy is still. Aggro, so so yeah, he's he's kind of. There are hidden masks. Oh, oh, there's the job. Okay, there are masks, and then the masks also signify your job. Yeah, you and your damn mask game. <laughs> it looks like the front door is the only entrance. 
We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail, and we can't risk raising an alarm. So the conceit in this game is that they are traveling through time for some reason related to the devious raccoonus that's in Sly's family. Yeah. I wasn't really watching the intro. Um, I don't really play these games for that. I mean, the characters are colorful and, and whatnot, but uh, it's more about, like, the really pleasurable platforming and... It's... They're just really charming and enjoyable. Yeah. There's not, they're not, you're not playing them on a Super Meat Boy sort of level. Uh, you're just in these worlds and you get to explore them. And Senzaro definitely seems to have captured the parts of Sly. I like the looks of their animals. Those dudes looked sufficiently able to convey emotion while still being animals. In a non-creepy way. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now I'll switch into... A little garb. I think there are five of them, which probably correspond to the Dismiss. five different worlds. Uh, um, but I'm I'm still in the first world. And you're also like meeting up with your different relatives. That's like a descendant of Oh, like the... through time. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And obviously there are a shitload of collectibles right in this game 7% bottles in order to over open the safes you have to uh, collect all the bottles in each area so they're you know they're they are linked together okay uh, and the mass unlocks some secrets but i'm i'm not sure exactly what those right correspond to but it seems like some of those you know require you to be getting additional funds to open up moves that open up different areas that are inaccessible unless you've acquired those moves. Okay. Okay, Ryuichi. I guess I don't need to tell you about your own place. play this guy. Hmm. Quite an ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Benji son. I am a ninja master. Right. All right. Uh, my bad. Anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Dentity son, though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Uh, yeah. So it's a little uh, like anti shame. Be careful not to alert yeah. the guards. Now get those knives and take your rest. Proverbs back. and puzzle solving. <laughs> mm. I was unable to practice my techniques while locked in that cage. Huh. Let's okay. be recall the leaping dragon. Obviously, you can also break everything in games like this. Yeah. I'm gonna assume this guy probably controls pretty similar. He's talking about practicing some move or something. First, so. I need to press and hold the R2 go. button to gather my focus while using the left stick to direct my energy towards a target. I don't know. You know it's... Some games can pull it off and some can't. Having oh, characters the, yes. say buttons. This is actually pretty neat mechanically, though. Real quick, kind of just not super Stealth clear. Meep. Oh, is that that corresponds to the things I can jump to? I'm not totally sure. Oh, maybe it's the shurikens. I'm not sure. Or can you just jump to anything that's that you would normally be able to use the circle uh, button to, to catch? No, onto? I'm holding R2, okay. and then, like I can't reach that bit over there, which I was just on. Hold it here. I have always liked that. Yeah. That little baseline they do for the stealth. And these games have a ton of stealth sections, but are also super forgiving. Uh, right, where it's never about. Like, guys will be right in front of you and won't see you. One of the nearby guards has your knife. First, I will reclaim my knives. Then, I will show El Jefe this shop cannot be closed. You oh, oh. Escape. Landed on that thing. Well, there you go. Hardcore fail. stealth sequence. I know. Full on fail state. Uh, let's see. I'm down on the 
ground. Can you use that focus to get back up? No. I think I oh, here we climb go. there. Yeah. So it seems a lot of the game, one of the new. I don't remember. Slit games. that motherfucker's throat. <laughs> I don't remember being pickpocketing being a huge thing in some of the earlier games. It's been a long time since mm. I played any of those games. Right. Yeah, I mean the the main thing that kind of stuck with me about these games was the kind of magnetizing to yeah. surfaces while you're you're jumping around and it's neat like i don't there are no, there's really no other game that does that and it allows them to pull off infamous yeah sure pretty sure. much but so, or i guess just sucker punch yeah i wonder if any of these traps would provide a challenge sly and his friends are strong allies truly in their like that that ended up being like the, the the first thing that stuck out about infamous to me was that totally. like, oh they're this is a realistic took, Sly they, Cooper. They took this thing out of Sly Cooper and that's pretty cool. That guy have one of the other knives or something? Do you don't need to No, not up. yet. I think this is just a get oh, through yeah, the area. Yeah. Wait for him to fall asleep. Maybe not. Can I just get down? Well we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, maybe I do. Got him. So the other two characters, Bentley and whoever the turtle is, um, like the the you know the the turtle is the scientist, the hacker. So right. there's like a dual stick shooter hacker mini game that involves him. Uh, Bentley is sort of the 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 ruffian like he he just goes in and has a bunch of different really simple combos to take out a bunch of guys at yeah, once okay. and also has the ability to throw things so there are like some simple puzzles involving uh, them but uh, is Bentley, I, I always thought Bentley was the turtle maybe it is yeah I don't know if there's I don't know what there's the turtle and there's, there's the turtle the, and, the, and the other guy the other guy hippo is he a hippo he's a hippo sure I'm making that up oh that's Whoa. that's that's well that's not gonna nope. do it. I guess let's use my focus. That, that seemed like, why was it shaking? I don't know. Maybe it'll eventually yeah. throw me off. It's got, it's, it's got a really good look to it. Uh, it, it. Stuff translates pretty well to the... Uh, I, th I, th I think I think I think I think Sanzaro has style, done a, yeah. a pretty great job with this. You know, I'm like an hour and a half in. It's it's kind of exactly what I would have wanted from like a game, another Sly Cooper this far out. Yeah. Um, they've expanded the the stages to be much bigger, and there's a lot of fun to be had from just exploring them. Yeah. Cannot be closed. So you see, like, that guy kind of got yeah, alerted, but yeah. it's not... You didn't walk right into the circle, so... It's not super hardcore. I guess I gotta pickpocket all these guys, huh? Uh, you haven't tried the Vita version at all, have you? Have not. Uh, okay. But th this is definitely one of those cases that are, if you are in well, shit, yeah. you the Sony ecosystem, the idea of having cross-save and cross-play yeah. like, is... Cool. A really, like, you know, the idea that like, you can just have that, you know, play this when you're at home, and then... Oh. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't hit that stuff. And then, you know, like, be on the bus or something. Oh. Um, yeah, and kind of just keep playing and stuff. And it is cross by, right? So you don't even... Yep. It's got one of those, I don't know, like, it's got like what calls disc benefits when you put it in. Right. I think that's yeah, how that's it unlocks. The, that is, uh, that's how it worked with PlayStation All-Stars. Does that mean it only works once? Yes. 
And it's just tied to whatever that PlayStation account is. It redeems like a code yeah. that is on yeah. the disc. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's pretty weird. slick that it's not, you don't have to go enter a code in the package or yeah. anything like that. It's that it just works. That's uh, it's pretty nice. This guy move. It's clearly in that guy's pocket. Oh, no, I just got money. I guess that's not what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should have listen, been listening to the dialogue. I think he just said the same thing again about <laughs> that, that every time you die, he says the same introductory stuff. All right, well, then I'll just work on getting up here. Is there still is there a door with a missing knife in it in this so. area, too? I mean, I just pickpocketed all those guys. Oh. Hmm. I think I did anyway. Let's see a door. Got away. Is this stuff? Oh, let's try. Jump around. Oh, I think it was just to get back here. Mm. This is wait, is that where it came from? I'm gonna say yeah, probably. No. No. There's no way for me to get back. Okay. All right. Follow that arrow. In, when in doubt, yep. Follow the video game arrow. Right. Follow the thing put in there. To tell you which way to go. <laughs> and then pickpocket from this guy. Hopefully, it's a, should be this guy. It has to be. Yep. Okay. Now turn on your restaurant sign and send El Jefe a message. One day I will bring It's like that tiger guy we saw before again. is the main okay. boss yeah. of this area. And then Sly's ancestor uh, runs like this sushi shop. But was in jail for creating mediocre sushi, something like that. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. That's some Safeway quality sushi. He's just blowing up his own sushi shop. That seems ill advised. Big insurance scam, he's gonna burn his own place down. <laughs> they seemed really upset by yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> by that lightning turned on. You win. You turn the lights the you turned on the weird fish. So, so, so the game is divided up into these jobs, and so, so far what I played, other than the intro, the intro where you are tutorialized through the three different characters, yeah, it seems like eventually there'll be moments when you'll have missions across all three of them. Maybe we'll get okay. So, this is a case where now, yeah, okay. Mr. Hippo, uh, Bentley is the turtle. Yeah, you were right, and he's. Uh, Murray. Murray. Uh, so if you go to ThiefNet, this is basically just like your shop. Okay. So, yeah. got different different moves you can you can purchase. Uh, if you, it's got your different costumes. Hmm. They're spread across the world. Uh, this allows nice you to go back and you can go back and replay jobs. All right. Um, Time travel allows you to go to the different worlds are available. Why don't you uh, go in and see what this Murray level looks like a little bit here? You can also, for some reason, play ping pong. I, That's I don't know why. Yeah, sure. Uh, cool. Treasure. You know, it's like Uber game has definitely been about collecting things. Oh, and I guess this now is a completely different character. Yeah. At least temporarily while we're in this in this section. So, we'll check out Murray before we bring this to a close. Have you played any of the other games? Or just... Yeah. 
I, yes. It, it, it followed a similar tra trajectory as uh, Ratchet and Clank for me, where yeah. I thought the first one was incredible, and yeah. you know, it's one of those things where, like, as the sequels go on, you're like, these are technically better, but I, I am kind of desiring this less. Yes. Uh, they also came out so quickly. Uh, I th Sly was not, you know, on the same level as Ratchet of coming out annually, I don't think. Yeah. Because Ratchet was definitely... And, and when they kind of started splitting the focus here, like they're doing here with the different characters, like, I, it's, you know... Obviously, you want to make your sequels different and, and add more to them, and that's what I don't, I way like, of going, I, every, but I, I don't necessarily... I don't, I don't like any... Like, play I, as the team stuff can, can be a little dicey. Yeah, I don't think it really works that well in Sly 3, and it's better here. Oh, let's see if I can fight this guy. Uh, but it's still not what I really wanted. I'm, like, I'm playing this for the platforming, you it's know, ostensibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited! Well, this is no vacation, Murray. We need to help Ryuichi get back on track as a sushi chef. And what he needs most right now is fish. We're here because these caves are his secret spot for catching the best fish. Unfortunately, judging from this security lock, it looks like El Hafe's been here too. Can you open it, buddy? Are you kidding? I've never met a system I couldn't hack. Don't worry, Murray. We'll be fishing in no Yeah, all right. No time. Ah, uh, so this'll this launch us into the little hacking meaning game, which is it's totally inoffensive. Like yeah, yeah, it's right. not like good or bad. It's a just you know, just sort of a distraction. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is different. Alright, navigation. Okay. Is and Maybe all the mini games change. Alright. I can get behind this. At least it's the last one was a twin stick shooter. Uh, I can't imagine every single one is completely unique, but but yeah, yeah. You know, it's, at least they have some some different options. That's cool. It is. Uh, I still you know feel like it gets away from still the core of what I'm playing these sure. games for. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, up until this moment, I have been largely playing as. Sly, so that that is what you're spending the majority of your time doing, and that stuff I feel like Senzaro has nailed completely. Like it's, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, it feels really good. The worlds are really fun to explore. There's a lot of collectibles uh, that, and, and it, it at least so far has not gotten uh, monotonous because that's sort of what I'm here for. Right. Like I, I'm here to collect things in a world where stuff is secret. Um, and, and stuff like this is like, okay, great, fine, it's it's here. It's just, it's not what I've signed up for, yeah. necessarily. Uh, which like, is, I, I definitely isn't even to say you know, bad. You, you want to break up the action, you want to keep, try to keep things fresh and prevent people from, from kind of burning out on the Sly gameplay, which you know, I think is, is very possible. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. They seem to have done right by the Sly franchise. Yeah. Uh, and... If that's you're looking, that's kind of all you can ask. Right, and I think that's all they were setting out to do. You know, when they handled that, uh, the remake as well as they did, and Sony kind of handed that off to them. Definitely seemed like, you know, Sucker Punch, no interest in returning to that after being able to achieve greater success with the Infamous games. Um, it's cool that Sony kind of let them go off and do this. And they, if you're looking for another Sly game, they have made another Sly game. And I, I think that's a compliment. Yeah. They haven't totally reinvented the formula, but they've taking advantage of what's possible with the new well, new hardware, new hardware, yeah. <laughs> new hardware for the series anyway, and, and and I really enjoy it. I think you know, right now I'm playing a lot of really stressful games like Fire Emblem and I'm about yeah. to get into Dead Space. This I can definitely see myself coming back to this as a palate cleanser sure. uh, over the next month. Yeah, yeah. And if that's something you're interested in, uh, they they seem to have definitely done huh? right by it. So that is uh, Sly Cooper for Thieves in Time. Uh, and you can get it for your Vita and your PS3. So yeah. Like if you, are they selling it separately for the Vita? They are selling it separately for but the Vita. But you would want to buy if, the PS3 version, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the the, the Vita version, it's, it's a case where, like, if you don't have a PS3, but you have a Vita. That's weird. Maybe a little bit, yeah. But, um, uh, but if, if you're interested in you own both platforms, buy the PS3 version because you yeah. get the Vita version, Vita version with that. And it's got the cross-save stuff. Or buy the console version. 
Yeah. Activate your Vita version and then immediately sell it back. You, <laughs> you monster. What? No, you what? monster. What? No, All right, I'm, I'm, I'm turning this off. Yeah. All right, this quick look is over. <laughs> this is Sly for Thieves in Time, available now. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. Yep.